Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the benefits of why people love Google Culture Mounds. So, for one, it will need less watering because as the wood inside breaks down, then it's going to, the water, any rain that comes, any watering you do, is going to soak into the wood and soak into the debris that's breaking down and it'll hold it because it's you know very rich with microbial life and all of that's going to hold the water and slowly over time it'll release up to, up to the uh, roots of your plants that are that are uh, planted above so it's great for a drought area and uh, my area is a drought area so uh, i've found them really effective at uh you know just at watering at less water needed and the bigger ones, of course, uh, hold more water. And uh, these can provide nutrients for decades as well, depending on the size, so the really big ones. Um, I've seen some that uh, can can produce uh, a lot of microbes and the microbes, you know, really feed the plants all of the nutrients that are in the soil and could be, you know, 25, 30 years even for the really large ones. And one of my favorite benefits is that they use up green waste. So you're not burning piles, you're not sending them to the dump, you're not, you're not letting them turn to dust and just blow away. So you're bringing all this stuff that would, that's otherwise waste and you're upcycling, recycling it into a raised bed garden. And I think that's really one of the coolest benefits. Also, you can plant your garden right on top of it at, immediately after you make the mound so i like i'm pretty impatient so i just like to plant it immediately and propagate whatever i can into it um, and then as you use branches on the upper layers this w provides a good root support for the plants to grow and can help if you have a windy uh, environment it can help stabilize the plants and the roots really like to grow into them and gives them a lot of support. Also, as the wood's breaking down, it's generating heat. So it's kind of like a compost pile in, in action with the garden on top of it. And that can help in colder areas. Also, as the wood's breaking down and it's shifting and settling, then the soil is kind of automatically aerated. And that's kind of why we're um, mimicking a forest floor. And um, also, the growing surface area is increased because, you know, if you're making a mound, then that's just all the more surface area compared to the flatness. So the higher you make it within the same, you know, ground surface area, then the more growing area you're getting. So that's why people like to make them as, as big as possible. You know, some are six feet, you know, or two meters tall so they can be you know as big as you want also um, my favorite is that it is uh, one of my favorite topics is uh, fungus and mycology and um, that's really promoted in a mound of wood because the fungus feed on the wood and all the fungus mycelium is this network of one cell thick uh, that permeates throughout the soil and it's uh, ferrying nutrients back and forth and holding the water. And so that's extending out way beyond into the soil and into the ground and penetrating all around your Hugo culture mound. So that's just good for all of the surrounding area. It's good for the mound. And uh, that's another one of my favorite parts about, about Hugo cultures. And also it builds soil and adds life to the area, kind of like I said, and it can start comp composting really quickly. And uh, so these can that's kind of why you can are able to plant on top of it immediately because it's going to compost and break down really quickly. So I'm sure there's plenty more benefits. I might make another video, but those are the ones for now. So thanks for watching this and leave a comment and like and share. Thanks.